Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Helping Humanity Evolve. My name is Jose. How's everybody doing today? Hope you guys are happy and healthy. Hope you are meditating and connecting the source. You know we love you. We miss you. We want you to come home. You know what I'm saying? Um, quick shout out, man. Shout out to Source. Shout out to my ancestors. Shout out Trippy Everything. <laughs> shout out shout out to my angel guys, my spirit guys, my demons, and my archangels. I love y'all. You hear me? Um, shout out to the Galaxy, the Galactic Federation. My light workers, my star seeds, my gods and goddesses. I love y'all. You hear me? Um, this episode, as you can see, is about my boy, Rashad Jamal, my brother, man. Listen, he one of the gods, man. And, you know, I've been coming across a few videos on TikTok where niggas just trying to burn my brother's name. So I decided to make a, a video, you know, for, for my nigga, man. Because at the end of the day, he was, he was falsely accused. And he was sentenced based on those allegations, you feel me? And people took this information and they ran with it. So I feel like they treated my brother unfairly, you know what I'm saying? And now that he can't speak out for himself, people want to talk shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell y'all niggas, I'm going to tell y'all niggas like I told y'all niggas in my previous videos. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rashad Jamal is a god. He's one of the gods, you feel me? Like I already confirmed this information. You know what I'm saying? If y'all if y'all know me, y'all y'all already know I got a direct connection to source. You feel me? So I really confirm this shit. So that's why I ride for my niggas. You feel me? Like I, I ride for my gods, bro. It is what it is. You feel me? But if ain't nobody gonna speak truth about my nigga, I'ma speak truth about him. Cause I watch a lot of his videos. I watch a lot of his content. And I'm really up on game as far as what's going on in this world. So <clears throat> I wanna let y'all know that on 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 my journey, you know, as far as my journey is concerned, you know, I found Rashad Jamal by asking questions to God. Like, I asked God questions about what's my purpose, what I am here, because I'm hearing this information. And, you know, God introduced me to Rashad Jamal through YouTube. And, and I found I found one of his lectures, you know, where he's talking about we are the gods and goddesses. And, and you know, I listened to him thoroughly and... I did my own research, you know, and came up with my own conclusions. And, you know, do all do all this, you know, fact finding and, and making sure that, you know, the information is solid. I did learn that the information is indeed solid. And, you know, my man is speaking truth. He's speaking facts. So, you know, he is risking his life. And I could tell you this because I'm going through a similar situation with my baby mother. You feel me? She was trying to she was trying to do witchcraft on me. And spell work to manipulate me, you know what I'm saying? Steal my blessings, steal my abundance. They 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 tried to kill me for insurance money. Like there's a lot of dirty shit going on that nobody really talk about. You know what I'm saying? But all they want to do is run their mouth and tarnish my name, talk shit about me. You know what I'm saying? So I could feel my brother's pain, man. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I know God is gonna do right by him and he's gonna come home soon, man. So you know what I'm saying? I feel I, I feel like like Rashad Jamal was locked up on, on false allegations based on his platform. You know what I'm saying? I think they they got rid of him because he was speaking too much truth and he was waking too many people up. You know what I'm saying? I could say that because he didn't wake me up, but he really taught me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not gonna lie. I learned a lot from that nigga man. And I didn't I didn't just believe everything I heard. I did my own research and I made sure that, you know, when I when I started my platform I was going to make sure that my information was accurate. You know what I'm saying? So I did my own research. I asked God my own questions and, and I got my own answers. And that's why all of my content is based on my life experiences. And, you know, our content is similar, but very different. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't touch his topics and I don't touch whatever he talks about. I do my shit based on how I feel. You know what I'm saying? And what God wants me to tell y'all. So I came across, I came across one of my brother's new lectures and, and, uh, you know, I listened to it, and, and he was saying he he was speaking a lot, a lot of truth as far as like how he's being treated and how people are treating them now that he's not here, and you know how niggas make their channels, their new platforms based on hating this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like they, that's some real big shit, man. You feel me? So now nah, Rashad didn't get a fair trial, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't think based on the information that that he gave me or that he was talking about. He wasn't given a fair trial. You know what I'm saying? Like everything sounds, everything just sounds wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like the way they did him over there. And if it's true that, you know, what he said that over in Vero County out in Atlanta, that, that sundown, that sundown uh, town is racist, 
I don't know. I'm not from Atlanta, but I can only go based on, you know, what he's telling me. And and, and maybe if I feel like it, I, I'll go find out about it. You feel me? But what he said was that the cops arrest the cops kicked down his door or whatever, made false allegations against him, and said they did that because they felt that if they issued a warrant for his arrest that he was not gonna turn himself in. You know what I'm saying? Based on based on his social media platform. So these niggas went and watched his videos and then determined at, on their own that he's not gonna come turn himself in without giving the brother the opportunity to do so. You know what I'm saying? So that right there, that's a red flag, bro. You know what I'm saying? So uh <clears throat> they did they did him dirty bro and and you know when when he when he says that nobody's really riding for him and, and you know why why nobody's really marching for him out there my brother listen man like if i had the means if i had the means to help you my nigga i i, I swear i would help you man because i really consider you my brother man like like i got nothing but love for you man you know what i'm saying like I could read, I, I'm really good at reading energy, my nigga. Like, I read energy like a motherfucker, man. So, understand that when I watch your lectures, my nigga, I see your light shining so bright. I see that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? And I see the love that, that you express. I don't give a fuck what you did. Whatever you did in your past, like, that ain't got nothing to do with the man you became. You feel me? Because I used to be like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to be crazy and, and vibrating low and doing dumb shit out here. You know what I'm saying? But there's just certain lines you don't cross. I never crossed certain lines. I never did certain things because I knew it wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I was able to turn around, find God and change myself. You feel me? So with that, with that, with that said, I got nothing but love and respect for that man. And if you don't, my nigga, I'm going to tell you just like he did. Don't watch his shit. Nigga, unfollow him. Don't watch his videos. Go ahead and, and be yourself and, you know, do what you're going to do, man. You know what I'm saying? But spreading hate, that's not the way, bro. Y'all niggas really need to find God, man. Because y'all niggas is doing it wrong. Like, my man named, like, bro, I listened to this nigga named, like, 15 different prophets that got killed throughout throughout the years, bro, that was sent here from God. Like, nobody want to listen. He's right about that shit, man. Nobody want to listen. We out here spitting truth. We out here spitting facts. And y'all niggas just straight calling us crazy. Like, we don't know what the fuck we talking about. But when y'all meet us and y'all see how we move, y'all niggas is like, oh, shit, that, that's not what I heard about you. I heard this. I heard that. Yeah, nigga, because they fake. They, these niggas is all possessed by demons, man. You feel me? Like, I'm starting to see all the people in my family and my immediate family who's all possessed by demons. So I'm seeing this shit with my own two eyes, nigga. I'm experiencing a whole other side of people I didn't even know existed, bro. You understand? So I could relate to the bullshit. You feel me? So, um, you know, they said they sentenced him to 16 years. He said he didn't really get 16. I don't really know what amount of time he got. But I know, I know that, you know, God's going to do right by him and he's going to come home because at the end of the day, he's spitting facts and he's being honest, he's being genuine, he's being real, you know what I'm saying? And and that's what we really could do, you know what I'm saying? We could just be ourselves, give y'all the messages and hope and pray that y'all niggas catch on, you know what I'm saying? At least the ones that want to, you know what I'm saying? Because there's going to be people that just don't and they're going to keep mocking us and making fun of us and trying to embarrass us, you feel me? So... You know, those, those people, they're not going to go with us. Like, they're going to be stuck on this planet, and they're going to be stuck. When we transition, they're going to be fucked up, and they're going to be stuck here. You feel me? But for the rest of y'all that's paying attention and watching, like, y'all niggas could come with us. You feel me? You could find God. God could tell you what you're here to do, and you could do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all unique. We all special. We all carry different information. You know what I'm saying? We're not all here for the same things. You feel me? Like, I, I, I started my YouTube channel because God wanted me to put the word out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta put the word out. You gotta tell your story, man. You gotta expose people. You gotta you gotta tell people about these witches, about this witchcraft, about the warlocks. You gotta school people about people, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't know. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of manipulation going on on this planet, man. A lot of people being manipulated by witches, bro, and, and fucking warlocks, you know what I'm saying? So now I understand what it means when they say, don't go to war unless you got your money right because the kind of war that we fighting, if you ain't got no bread, you're not going to win, bro. I mean, it takes a lot of faith. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a lot of faith and you got to really protect yourself because the attacks come from all directions, from all different kinds of people, people that you don't even know, bro. People that you don't even know who just walked by you outside and just decided I'm going to cast a spell on this nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Just because you look like you you abundant. You know what I'm saying? You look like you got something. So they want to give it a shot. So, and then on top of that, if you got a social media platform, niggas will go watch your channel and boom, they go to hate. 
They go, you know what I'm saying? They go to hate. They want to run their mouth. They want to talk shit. Nobody want to be real about shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm starting to see, you know, people that I was genuinely loving and genuinely nice to, that I was genuinely nice, nice to, you know, um, turning their back on me, you know, becoming somebody totally different, you know, fucking, I don't know these people. I, I don't know who they are. You know what I'm saying? I never knew them. And it's really devastating when you experience something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, me knowing that they're trying to put a false case on me, you know, they they trying to frame me for some shit that they out there doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got nothing to do with them niggas. I never did. I never will, man. I always been to myself. I always stay to myself if that's how I got to be. But I'm not going to stop doing what the fuck I'm doing for y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? And real quick, I do want to talk about, I'm going to go off topic off my nigga for a minute because I want to tell y'all, you know, first and foremost, I want to say Happy New Year's. And I hope y'all, y'all, I hope y'all find God this year and stop vibrating low because that's not the way. You know what I'm saying? Now, I want to talk about real quick what happened to me on New Year's Eve. I was under heavy attack by witchcraft on New Year's Eve, right? And y'all, y'all niggas, I don't know, like, like what y'all think y'all doing or what y'all think y'all, y'all gonna do, right? Because whatever it is, you could cancel that shit, man. Listen, I feel your attacks, right? Sometimes I feel them. I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? And, and. I sit through it, like whatever, it is what it is. This is not my thoughts, this is not my feelings, this is not the way I feel, this is not the way I think. So, we let the bullshit pass because I know what it is. And if I wanna find out who it is, I can find out who the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? So, the people that attack me on New Year's Eve, I know who you are, it was two people, right? I know who you are. I'm gonna tell one of y'all niggas, I'm back in your city. And when I see you, listen to me, bro, when I see you, you're going to wish you never did that shit to me, bro. I promise you. I promise you. You hear me? So, the other person, you you got to lose weight, you fat bitch. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm not going to say your name because fuck y'all niggas. But you should lose weight, you fat bitch. You look sloppy as fuck. You know who I'm talking to. So, uh, you know, with that, with that said, I got those bullshit attacks. I survived them. I'm not suicidal, you stupid ass. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't going to work out like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm still riding for God. I'll never stop riding for God. And I'm never going to stop living for my purpose. So, y'all niggas need to find God. Because at the end of the day, you're going to lose. <laughs> you feel me? Y'all niggas is going to lose. So, you know, I pray for y'all niggas. I do pray for y'all niggas. Like, I'm not mad at y'all niggas. I don't hate y'all niggas. You feel me? I will express myself when I see you. You understand me? I will. And yet, if y'all niggas know me, y'all know I don't give a fuck, man. You understand? So believe when I see you, my nigga. When I see you, you're gonna see, bro. You understand? Cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look and smile in your face, my nigga. I'm gonna smack the shit out you, bro. Understand that, man? I'm gonna see what the fuck you gonna do to me, man. Understand? Cause that, that's how I get down, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do no sneaky bitch shit behind your back. I'm not going to smile in your face and stab you in the back. I'm not going to look at you, go home and do a spell on you, faggot. I'm going to smack you right in front of your face and see what the fuck you're going to do to me, man. You understand? Because that's how God's roll. And that's, what, and that's what the fuck I'm about. So, you know, with that said, fuck them niggas. <laughs> they some bum ass niggas. They some fat ass sloppy bitches. You know what I'm saying? And they not worth my time no more. So, that's all I'm going to say about them niggas, right? So, as far as as far as my brother Rashad, like they don't really got no real evidence to support the allegations. Like the main allegation they hit him on was that ped that pedophile shit, and and they dropped those charges against him. You know what I'm saying? They try to say that that he made somebody touch him over his pants, and he got sentenced for that bullshit. Like, bro, I'll be honest with y'all niggas, man. I don't believe he did that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I really got to know this dude through his social media platforms, and. You know, being a reader, like like being being an empath, being being someone who could feel people's feelings and read people's energy and know their intentions. I could tell y'all niggas right now, my man got a pure heart. You know what I'm saying? And he vibrating high as fuck, man. You feel me? Cause his aura, his aura is like purplish. You feel me? He got a fucking purplish aura, nigga. That's a God's aura, bro. You understand? So his light is shining. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, I, I see it. I see it with my own eyes, man. And that's why I'm not afraid to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I represent real. I always represented real. And I'll continue to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, with, with that with that said, I do come across bitch-ass niggas 
who like talking shit about my brother on their platforms or whatever, saying that he might have did it, you know what I'm saying, or, or just saying that he's wrong about what he's talking about. And I'm going to tell y'all niggas right now, why don't y'all niggas talk about me, man? Because I could defend myself. I got a phone, nigga. I could record my videos and respond to you. We can go live and have a debate if y'all niggas want to. Like, what's up, man? Because at the end of the day, my nigga, knowledge is power. And I got plenty of it, man, for any of y'all niggas. You understand? You want to try to prove me wrong? Let's go. Let's go. But don't be the man when he's down. That's not That's not the right thing to do, man. He can't defend himself. You understand? So you shouldn't do that. He can't sit there and watch your social media platform and then respond to your dumbass comments. You understand? So if the man can't defend himself, leave the man be. If you're not going to spread love and positivity about him, leave the man alone, man. You understand? If nobody else is going to speak on it, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to speak on it, man. You understand? Because my heart desires me to speak on this shit. God wants me to speak on this shit. And I do what I'm told to do. I'm obedient to my God, man. You understand? So with that said, you know, Rashad Jamal, you know, he ain't going nowhere, nigga. He got a strong voice. He's still doing what he got to do. He's still doing his music. He's still doing his lectures. He ain't never stopped, man. He's still serving his purpose. You feel me? And I don't really, I'm not going to lie. I, I listened to this, to this one, but I haven't, like, listened to this nigga. And ever since I started doing my own thing, I really don't follow other people no more because I got my own connection. I got my own information. You feel me? Although I do once in a while want to listen to his voice because the nigga's smart, man. So like today, today I, I I saw this pop up on YouTube and I said, oh shit, I didn't even know that my brother got a new video. So let me check this shit out. It's an hour long. I listened to that shit. I heard his whole story, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and it, it made me want to talk about it. It made me want to talk to y'all about it because he's right about everything he's saying. He's right, man. You know what I'm saying? So... For niggas that's making their platforms and basing it on him and, and talking shit, fuck y'all niggas, man. Fuck all y'all niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? People that's making fun of him or saying he's lying, fuck y'all niggas, man. I'm going to say it for him. Fuck y'all niggas, man. That's from helping humanity evolve, nigga. That's, that's from me, bro. You understand? Fuck y'all niggas. Straight up. So, he was saying that when, when he was in jail that they tried to poison him. You know, he was getting sick and shit out of nowhere, and he don't get sick. And I believe you, bro, because, you know, ever since I've been shining my light, bro, people been trying to kill me, man. You understand? People been trying to kill me left and right, bro. <laughs> like, this shit, y'all niggas think it's a game. Like, it's not a game, bro. If I wasn't vibrating high, my niggas, I'd be dead, bro. You understand? Because they come at me from all angles. From all angles, bro. They stay trying to give me a heart attack. Like, I don't understand what y'all niggas is doing. I'm healthy. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Do you want to die? Because that's what's going to happen to you, man. That's not going to happen to me. That's going to happen to you. You understand? So, you know, y'all got to get off the bullshit, man. Stop trying to bring our people down. Y'all trying to prevent something that's destined to happen. Like, this shit is written. God already, God already said it's happening. You understand? Shit's changing in the world, bro. You can't stop it. There's nothing you can do to stop it. So, instead of trying to stop it, why don't you dumbass niggas try to learn some shit? Try to change yourself, man. It's never too late to change, man. It's never too late to find God, man. You understand? Like, y'all niggas really got to find God, man. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> you know, with that, I'm going to leave y'all here, man, because, you know, I'm not going, I'm not going, you know, uh, keep, keep going. I want to try to keep this, you know, I want to try to keep this episode just about my boy Rashad. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to address... The haters, you know, on New Year's, the fat bitch and, and the dumbass fucking caucus dude. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, <clears throat> watch what you're doing because I know what's going on, right? And don't think that because I meditate and because I connect the source that I won't put these up and beat the living shit out of you, man. Understand that, man. You understand? Understand that, man. So, if I don't bother you, listen to me. If I don't bother you, leave me alone, man. Listen to me. Leave me alone, man. Because when I see you outside, my nigga, it's going to be a different story, bro. And you think that because I found God, I won't put hands on you. You got you. Like, you really got me fucked up, man. And I'm not talking to no females. This is all for the bitch-ass niggas that be talking shit and doing spell work on me. This is for them niggas. You understand? So, y'all niggas is man enough to do a spell on me. Let's see if you man enough to hit me back, man. 
You know what I'm saying? I want to see where, where, where your heart at, nigga. All right? So, uh, with that, you know what I'm saying? I love y'all niggas. I hope y'all niggas meditate. I hope y'all connect the source. You know we love you. We miss you. We want you to come home. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see y'all on the next one.